Yeah, so here's a quick video of what I'm doing on the Honda Hawk CB400 T2. I pulled the carburetors off and um, the symptoms were that this engine was uh, bogging down at high RPM. So I do have a manual here and I pulled off the top end, um, the vacuum pump end of the carburetor and cleaned all the um, secondary main air jets, primary main air jets, as well as the slow air jets. And I figured I'd flip it over real quick before I put it back together and clean the bottom. Um, so I pulled these jets out, cleaned them. I used the brass, brass wire uh, sticking out of the end here just to kind of break big chunks free or tarnish that may be in there and then uh, blew it out with carbon choke cleaner. And uh, I didn't pull the um, slow plug, slow jet plug because I don't have a replacement one right now and it's starting to decompose and break. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is probably order a new gasket kit for this whole thing. Because um, this float bowl gasket, it's not cracked, but it's starting to separate. And uh, bow, so it's not its original shape. So. I'm going to order a, a carb kit so I get those gaskets, um, this new uh, uh, slow jet plug, and then that way I can clean the plug out in there and um, also probably get a new needle because for some reason it's not returning the way I thought it would. Um, and that might have to have vacuum, that might be why it's not sucking in right now and that needle's not sucking down. You can see the spring clip is kind of high on the on the float. See it's not it's not doing much, but I think if it has vacuum, then the fuel would pull it down. Um, it's stuck in, stuck in the closed position right now, so. I'm going to assemble it as is and test it. It doesn't take too long to pull these carbs back off, so. Because it'll take me a while to get the kit in, so I'm just going to clean it, put it back together, and I'll show you what happens then.